Bölüm sonu canavarından herkese merhaba arkadaşlar. Bugün burada Far Cry yapımcılarıyla birlikte Far Cry Primal'ı deneme şansı bulduk. Yaklaşık olarak bir saat kadar oynadıktan sonra şimdi yanımda Kevin var ve kendisi baş senarist. Hem kendisine biraz hikaye hakkında bir şeyler sormak istiyorum. Ki biliyorsunuz ki çok fazla bilgi yok şu an Far Cry Primal ile ilgili. Hem de oyunun ne, neler yeni Yeni mekanikler neler? Onlarla ilgili bilgi alacağız kendisinden. İsterseniz e, yavaş yavaş sorularımıza başlayalım. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Nice, thank you. How are you doing? I'm oh, good, doing well. Uh, first of all, Fire Cry Primal uh, in Stone Age. Uh, what, why? What is the story about this? <laughs> what were we thinking? <laughs> we chose, you know, what was great about the Stone Age? So yeah, it's set 12,000 years in the past. Far Cry Primal and you know Far Cry has always gone off to these crazy frontiers we've always sent players to to exciting frontiers and the Himalayas you know the, the Caribbean Africa and we thought well I mean let's go to the very first frontier you know the primitive raw frontier of the Primal Age uh, that for us it still was the essence of Far Cry you're sent into you know you're into a uh, an unexplored territory that you have to uh, uh, reach out into and, and discover and you still have the beasts are against you you've got enemies who are trying to take you down but we thought you know Far Cry in Primal in that age it was all, survival was key you know you had to know how to hunt you had to know how to gather your resources which we've always done in Far Cry but in this one those resources are what you use for everything if you want new new uh, ammo new arrows you got to you got to find the wood to craft it uh, yeah we don't have any modern weapons or no vehicles to ride no there's no there's no uh, there's no vehicles to drive there's uh, there's no uh, radio towers or anything like this you know uh, we we stayed true to what it was to be in the the primal age and immerse our players in the and i guess everything is depends on the crafting system yeah crafting system's pretty key you know you need to be able to uh, get good at gathering things hunting is a big uh, is, is a big feature i mean it's always been a feature uh, uh, in far cry but in this one uh, it's uh, we've we've enhanced the the hunting you know we've we uh, because hunting was was much more crucial to to the primitive man they relied on it far more so we had to make sure that that hunting experience was uh, uh, much deeper for players so you know you've got hunter vision where you know uh, you're able to track animals uh, uh, very easily in the game and uh, you're able to you have to craft every single weapon that you want to use to uh, take down animals the animals are a little more aggressive they're going to be uh, there's going to be more of them you know we've suddenly got the saber-toothed tiger we've got the woolly mammoth uh, the yeah as mentioned I tamed the saber tooth well, this is the great thing. So, one of the key features for Takar is he is the first human who's ever able to tame animals. And that becomes a, key, a critical uh, weapon for you because you're able to tame any of the, the, uh, the predators that are in the game and use them to help you attack whoever you want. You can use them to hunt other animals, you can use them to invade uh, outposts. And depending on which animal you choose, you can do it either stealth or you know, more uh, more full-on assault. Yeah, like like if you choose uh, like a leopard. Uh, what's great with a leopard is is uh, if you crouch down, the leopard crouches down with you, and they can go in and do stealth attacks. And then maybe you want to come in with a bulldozer tank, like a like a uh, a bear, and just send the bear charging. Uh, the bears can take a lot of damage, and they can create a lot of damage. So uh, uh, and and on top of that, you've got uh, uh, the owl. So the owl is an important, kind of like a, a recon uh, uh, animal. You can send it over, scout a region, and you get to tag enemies. And what's cool is you can even, you can send your tamed saber tooth from an owl's perspective, or you can even attack with the owl. Uh, you can attack your enemy. And since you are the main uh, writer for the game, yeah. what's the story of the game? And who is our main protagonist? So you play as Takar. Takar is a, um, a skilled hunter and he's the last survivor of a hunting party. 
and the hunting party died. He's on his own, and he's heading to the land of Oros, which is the region of our game. And he's trying to reunite with his Winja tribe. He's a member of the Winja, and he wants to find other Winja and reunite with them. Once you arrive there, you, uh, uh, you, there's enemies, well, there's, there's, there's the megafauna and the animals that are trying to kill you, but then there's enemies as well fighting for resources. You've got the tribe that you would have seen called the Udam. And the Udam are a very aggressive tribe. They've spent many years in the Ice Age, or in the, uh, in the, the north, the, the glaciers. They lived through the Ice Age. They were starving. So when the Ice Age receded, they moved into the, the land of Oros, and they're fighting for resources. So they see you and other Wenja as a problem, and so they want to take you out. So you as Takar, you have to battle them, and ultimately you're going to yeah, fight to become the apex predator of, uh, of Oros. There's much more to the story. I don't want to give too much away right now. We're just kind of teasing you on some stuff, but that gives you a sort of a, a high level of, uh, of the adventure. Uh, so then... Can we see the winter? There is also a day and night cycle in the game. Oh yeah. And can we see the winter or maybe some survival things in winter? Yeah, so, so we, we certainly have a day-night cycle that you, and uh, in the night you're going to see different animals come out. So uh, nighttime means that the wolves are going to start coming Pack of wolves. Yes, so you got to watch for them and it's great because they, they, they, they have their glowing eyes at night which is kind of creepy. <laughs> it's creepy, isn't it? <laughs> So, uh, so certainly uh, uh, fire becomes very important at night because that's how you fend off the animals, that's how you keep warm. Now, if you head to the north where the Udam live, you're going to move into the snowy region. That's our entire snowy region. Did you, were you able to reach that part? No, no. Okay. So if you head up there, it's all snow and it's cold. And so if you don't have the right resources, you're going to have to, you're going to have to craft uh, uh, clothing out of animals to uh, keep yourself warm or fire. Fire is Fire is, I mean, fire has always been an important part of Far Cry. In Primal, fire plays a more critical role. You use it to fend off animals. You can also use it to keep yourself warm. You know, you're going to have to set fires. You can just light your club, and that'll help keep you warm while you travel through the uh, uh, the north region. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, and then to the south, we have a more swampy region. Uh, uh, that's cool, really. So the nature is our mm, seems like uh, our main enemy but is there any villain in this game oh okay like yeah, yeah. was like uh, what yes um, so yeah that's a good point uh, in our game uh, the nature and the world of oros is your biggest your biggest enemy so yes you're gonna you you are gonna meet these memorable characters who are going to be uh, Trying to take you down. Uh, we haven't zero, we, we, we don't we haven't narrowed it down to one. We didn't want to have one. There's there's a there's a few more characters that you're going to meet that you're going to have to deal with. And then of course there's the the the beasts of of Oros and the land itself. The land is really can be really tough on you. And uh, so so that's uh, those are it's it's kind of the entire region is your uh, nemesis. Uh, okay then. And is there anything you want to talk about? What is the most exciting thing in Far Cry Primal? What I would say, so the big thing for us in Far Cry Primal is uh, the taming skill. You are the Beastmaster, and that's a skill, you're the first one who's able to do that. And out of that skill, one thing that's really cool is, you're, like for example, the saber tooth. Uh, you can tame a saber tooth, but what's even better is once you tame that saber tooth, you're able to ride the saber tooth. So that's a kind of that's a pretty cool feature that we're pretty excited about. Of course, you can ride a mammoth if you tame if you're able to ride the mammoth. But the saber tooth is the one where we're like, all right, that's going to be a very cool feature for players. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for these informations. Arkadaşlar, Far Cry Primal'ı ben de zaten denedim. Bununla ilgili ilk izlenim videosu sizlere en kısa zamanda gelecek. Ayrıca bolca da oynanış görüntümle birlikte gelecek. Ee, Kevin Hanım bize anlattıkları şimdilik bu kadar zamanımız kısıtlı. Daha fazla soru sormak isterdim kendisine. Fakat e, şu an için bu kadar kısıtlı tutmamız gerekiyor arkadaşlar. Daha çok bekleyenler var. Şimdilik bizlerden de bu kadar diyelim. Bir başka videoda görüşmek üzere. Hepinize iyi oyunlar arkadaşlar. Why a smart?